Hi there. StevieCoyle.com here. Playing Landslide. Fleetwood Mac recorded it. Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks wrote it. Pretty cool tune. And you can play it. That's the coolest part of all. Stay tuned. I'll show you how. Hang on just a second here. Let me do a little clicky. All right. Now see, what we have here is the problem of the headless guitarist. I could either play this for you, and you could see my hands and not my face, which are arguably preferable. I realize I heard that, wise guy. Uh, but uh, all in all, I want to be able to talk to you, because this is what a Skype lesson is going to look like. You and I work together online, it's going to look just like this, all right? We'll have a little close-up on my face, I have a close-up on the left hand and the right hand. So, all right, for landslide, three chords. You need to capo three. Grab your capo, tune up. Get your electronic tuner out. It's not cheating to use an electronic tuner. Don't let anybody tell you that it is. Uh, capo 3. Then, what we're going to need, let me click over and show you the left-hand view here. Um, there it is. You need a C chord. It's one of them right there. Here's a little system that I use. I want to explain to you my little system for, um, for describing where notes are on the fingerboard. Okay? Check it out here. Let's go back to the left hand. Um, this right here, that note right there in a C chord, and of course I'm presuming it's a C chord against the capo here. It's not really a C chord, it's, an, uh, it's a what, an E flat minor, a E flat or a D sharp. Uh, but for our purposes, let's call it a C chord since that's the shape we're using here. All right, that note right there, I'd call that 21. Second string, one, two, three, four, five, six. Strings are numbered that away. Uh, so this, is B, this would be 21, second string, first fret, two, one. Here's 4-2, 42. There's 5-string, 3-fret. That's 53. And there's a C chord. All right? Good. You'll need one of those. The next chord you will need, uh, I would suggest uh, the best way to get to it is take your middle finger off of 42, go over to 52, and play that all by itself, and let your little finger come down here to 23. You want a 52 under 23. What this is is the inside of a G chord. You know, big fat uh, uh, bluegrass G chord like this. You know, not the uh, not the folky G chord like that. The uh, the uh, campfire G chord, the uh, almost always out of tune G chord. But I and I'll talk about that later. I've got a great rant all about that. You'll you'll really like it. That'll be in a subsequent lesson. All right, but you want these two notes that are the inside of a bluegrass G chord, a 52 and a 23. Either play with your first and third fingers or your second and fourth. I like second and fourth myself because it's a quicker hop. I don't have to turn my hand over to get to it. I can jump right to it here. And it's especially handy since my next chord is an A minor seventh chord. I can go right to that. How about that? That's a 21 and a 42. It looks an awful lot like that C chord, except you're not playing anything on the fifth string here. Those are the three chords we're going to start off with in landslide. All right, there's a C chord. There's the inside G. Yep, there's an A minor seventh. Cool. You doing it? Just strum those. Finger your way through those. Uh, what you'll need is some left hand strength. If you're brand new to picking, just practice these chords. Practice moving from one to the other. Keeping your hand as close as you can to the neck. This is, uh, this is something I'll be talking about in subsequent lessons. Is Some of the stuff that's implicit in instruction materials that I think is just dead freaking wrong. Uh, can I say freaking and wrong next to each other on YouTube? I hope so. All right, let's move over to the right hand now. What the right hand is going to do is this. Notice how the thumb is going back and forth? The thumb is just going back and forth between the fifth string and the fourth string. Five, four, five, four, five, four. Now see here the numbers refer to the strings, not the frets. And I'll be very careful about letting you know what the heck number I'm referring to. Numbers in guitar lessons online here on Skype could refer to strings, frets, intervals, the fingers of either hand. Do this with me. If you haven't done this yet, just grab a fistful of strings up here. Go ahead and dull the strings out. And just play five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four. Right? Good. Now you can, if you want to, you can kind of prop your hand on that low string there, if it helps you out, if it helps you orient on the guitar. We'll move it off later, but for starters, feel free to do that. All right. I feel like Brother Bob. 
put a happy little tree right in here. It's your, it's your right hand. You do what you want with it. So here's 5-4 uh, going back and forth. Now, let's start off doing this right out of the gate. Assign these fingers to these three, these three strings. So uh, this, is, this is what I'm about to tell you is a big lie, but I'll tell you why it's a lie in a little bit after I've gotten the usefulness of the lie extracted. All right, so let's pretend that forever your thumb is going to handle these three low strings all by itself. Your first finger will always be on the uh, th third string. Your middle finger will always handle stuff going on on the second string. And your uh, ring finger will handle stuff all the time on this high string. So for the purposes of our exercise, since we're only going to be concerned with these middle four strings, five, four, three, and two, your thumb will handle five and four. All right, that. Your first finger will handle the second, the third string. Your second finger will handle the second string. And your pattern here will be five, three, four, two, five, three, four, two, five, three, four, two, five, three, four, two. And what you're going for is the feeling of that thumb bouncing back and forth in this just completely inexorable way. Come in. Bessie's here. Just like that. Good for you. All right. Now, just a word about patterns. All right. I'm going to show you this little pattern. I'll continue showing you this, but only if you promise to realize that playing patterns, for the most part, sounds like playing patterns. It's not very intentional. Once I establish a pattern for you, I'm going to sweep it away from you and get you playing stuff that's much more intentional. The pattern in all of this is just that thumb going back and forth between those two strings. That's the pattern. 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4, 2 is not the pattern. The thumb going back and forth between 5 and 4, that's the pattern. Let me plant that seed. I'll go back and harvest that in a uh, subsequent lesson. All right, so let's take a look at both hands now and see what's shaken. We got a C chord in the left hand, right? Right. There's, I was doing my Alfredo Garcia impersonation up here. Here's, uh, here's uh, the C chord. And me doing my pattern over here with the right hand. 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4. 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4. That's the pattern. 2, 5, 3, 4. 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4. 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four. Cool. Do that a ton. In fact, if you can find a good movie to sit down and practice that in front of, myself, I like uh, Creature of the Black Lagoon. I think it's a great one to practice any new stuff with. So practice your C chord playing 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4. Even say it out loud to yourself, or at least in your mind's ear, say it to yourself. Uh, because each of, those, each of those numbers, as they're uh, pronounced there, have one syllable and take about the same amount of time to say. That's what you should be playing here is what's it for? Two, five, three, four, uh. There's a little extra. Four is like four, uh. So, five, three, four, two, five, three, four, uh. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four. That's that bluegrass G, the inside of the bluegrass G chord here, right? That's 52 and 23. Remember that, our old pal? And then move down to name minor seventh chord. Do one pattern of five, three, four, two, five, three, four for each of these chords, down and back. You'll play a C, an inside G, an A minor 7, an inside G, and a C. Cool? 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4. You get the picture. Off you go, surf on over to Netflix and get Creature of the Black Lagoon. It's just great for the song. Don't ask me why. Ta-ta. See you on Skype.